morning my loves, welcome back to my vlogging channel. Today is Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, hump day, happy hump day. I am flipping exhausted this morning. I didn't sleep a wink last night. I didn't only have the cramps from hell last night, but I couldn't get comfortable. I had a pain in my front and a pain in my back. My lower back, I have severe cramps in my lower back and I have a hot water bottle on me. To get up at like two in the morning to get painkillers, and then I was just like, it's just not pleasant. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on from that. Today I'm going to do a post for Nibby. I have a sponsor post for them to do today for Halloween. So I'm going to do that today. I'm going to take a picture. Um, well, actually what I'm going to do is apply a whole Halloween face makeup and then take the wipe and, or not wipe, the new micellar professional and I'm going to remove one half with that that should be exciting and i just have to do a post for that for instagram and then i'm going to have like a bit of an editing day obviously like every day is an editing day but i just i do need to work today i'm severely tired like i don't even know how i'm going to work because i'm actually exhausted like i said i was up from like two and i didn't get back to sleep until john was going to work this morning i'm just going to bring my mom and uh, catch up with her and see how she's getting on and see how everything's going on at home and how my family are and everybody. That's what I'm gonna do this morning. But at first, I'm gonna have some coffee. Um, some people ask me why I put milk in my coffee first and my answer to that is because if you're using instant coffee hot water actually burns the coffee granules and the grains and causes them to have like a real disgusting burnt taste so I find if you put milk in first I think one of my lectures in college or somebody told me that I can't remember but if you put your milk in first then it stops the grain from getting burnt obviously because you're using milk and it's cold and it allows the coffee grain or the coffee whatever granules to dissolve a little bit and then when you apply your hot water it doesn't taste burnt so there you go fun fact of life oh and also i read a comment actually the other day someone was asking about damien and how damien is i was talking to damien on what day was he over here saturday night so it was only a few nights ago and he's doing really 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 well he had some exciting news for me he is going over to london so yeah damien is doing fantastically well he was over here he was filming on the latest news and everything that's going on with him and he's in great form so thank you so much for whoever that was that was asking about damien damien is doing so great okay so i'm ready to go coffee and breakfast are have been had now i'm getting dressed and heading out the door because I need to go and do some laundry and then I want to go and pick up some stuff from my storage unit as well makeup products and stuff that I need to create a makeup look and a Halloween look and yeah I think that's pretty much it so let's let's get out of this place and get dressed first I suppose. Do you know what because it's after getting so cold guys I think I'm actually going to start to need like I'm going to have to start wearing gloves because my hands are actually freezing Mm, I'm actually forgetting something. The washing. <laughs> okay, so I'm back home and I told you guys I need to film a video for, well, it's actually a picture for Nivea and it's basically a Halloween look. So I'm going to do a skull, like a really basic one. Crispy um, on YouTube has one and I'm going to like recreate her basic skull and then I'm going to take it off with the new Nivea Micellar Breathable. I just want to show that you can actually like change up your look if you want to tell or if you're out for Halloween you can take it off I might film that bit actually so you guys can see it I'm not really sure what way to do it I also am doing a really cool video with a jewelry company which will 
I'm filming that tomorrow. But I had a wig that I wanted to use for the video and I cannot find the wig anywhere and I am devastated because I just don't know what I did with it, where I put it or what the hell happened to it. And I was down in my storage unit today looking for it and it's nowhere to be seen. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. I bought it in Claire's like two years ago. It was like 30 euro, I think, remember at the time. And I remember taking really good care of it and putting it away and like now I can't find it. And I'm just like, where did it go? Because obviously when I moved last year, there was like stuff everywhere and I just kind of like threw things into my storage unit. But that is not something that I would just kind of like throw to one side because there was a crown with it as well, like with horns on it. And I just remember both of them being pretty expensive and I was like, I'll take good care of them. So I obviously put them in like some bag or something to take care of them and put them away. But like where the hell they are, I don't know. And I'm just really annoyed at myself. So I'm gonna have to go back down there and like really take the place apart to try and find them because I want them for the video. So anyway, I'm going to sort out this face and let's put some makeup on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. This is my skull makeup. It's something really basic. It's nothing really exciting. It's just about taking off the makeup. I have a lot of black shadow on, a lot of contour. I don't know what's going on, but it's all about like how it comes off. Okay, so I'm gonna take this makeup off now with the Nivea and see how we get on. I know that it'll like fly through it because it just flies through everything. I'm gonna take this eye off, I think. Yeah, because the other eye, I like the liner on it better. <laughs> it's not really weird. Yeah, I'm really odd, I know. Okay, so here we go, here we go. Which eye? Yeah, I'm taking this eye off, so I'm just gonna take the... <laughs> it seems so redundant, you guys probably think this is nuts, but this is like part of my life, like applying makeup and then like taking it off and you know just exactly what you do so I'm just gonna shake this up this is not sponsored on this channel by any means I'm just kind of like showing you like how I would get ready for like a post or something like that so that might help me put a generous squirt of this micellar onto one of these cotton rounds I have two here but I'm just gonna start off with one because I might need two who knows so let's just pop that on this eye 
and hold it for a few seconds. I'm afraid to kind of wipe it off. What if it didn't get everything off? Ooh, oh my god. <laughs> That's unreal. I use this big bottle then over the rest of my face just to take everything off. Like, it's unreal. Like, it really, really is. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about it because I sound like an advertisement and I'm not sponsored again on this channel to talk about it. But I just, I really like it. I actually genuinely like the product. So, I don't know. I think that was pretty cool. Like, taking off black makeup and I had gel liner on and like mascara and everything, and it's all gone all gone in one go and like it doesn't even like it's dry like there's no like grease or anything on it. i can go back in with foundation if i want to oh my god i look insane right now <laughs> yeah so this is kind of like what i would do if i'm doing a sponsored post like that for instagram and then basically i just take all the makeup off so it seems like it's kind of like crazy and like i know an awful lot of people might see pictures and stuff and they might think oh that's so effortless she just like you know took off half her makeup or put on a half her makeup or whatever and that's so easy but like it's after taking me like three hours to kind of do this because i want it to be perfect it's going on it's going for a company so i thought that might be interesting just so you can see how i would get ready for like an instagram post or something like it's not as straightforward and as easy as people might think or maybe this is as straightforward and easy as people might think but don't forget i'm also like editing and working as well and then i have other things kind of going on and like planning videos and stuff so it does take up time like and you know, I love my job so much and I wouldn't give it up for the world, but it does take time. You really have to be dedicated and you have to have a good work ethic. Right, I'm gonna actually take the rest of this off because I look crazy right now. So I just lit the fire, my favorite part of the day, and I'm going to start dinner. John's gone out running with like the local running club. So I am going to start dinner because I'm sure he'll be starving by the time he gets home. And I'm kind of getting hungry myself, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm thinking Philadelphian spinach stuffed chicken for dinner. That's my plan for tonight. And then I'm just gonna stir fry some veg and I think put on some baby potatoes as well. That should be yum.